Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Melamede, and I want to talk to you a little bit about why marijuana is necessary for the survival of mankind. First of all, marijuana-like compounds called endocannabinoids are produced by all of us, and they literally regulate everything in our bodies, our immune system, digestive system, cardiovascular system, you name it, the cannabinoid system is involved. It also winds up regulating body temperature, appetite, pain, etc. Among the many, many things that our endocannabinoids regulate is open-mindedness. And this is shown by the inability of mice who are lacking the main neurological cannabinoid receptor, known as the CB1 receptor. They have lost the ability to relearn new information. They're stuck with what is put in, but then they can't change it as they gain new information. Well, the same is true in people. We all know that we have people who are open-minded and closed-minded. And what I'm suggesting as an inevitable truth is that in the human population, we have an average amount of endocannabinoid activity with respect to controlling open-mindedness. And some people are more endowed and some people are less endowed. And the people who are less endowed, I call them blips, backward-looking people, because they can't comfortably look into the future because the future always holds the unknown and that requires that you adjust your thinking based on new knowledge and they can't really do that. They don't have the machinery so they look backwards. Whereas flips are forward-looking people and they embrace the unknown because they're able to adjust and adapt to the newness and the rewiring that's required when you replace old ideas, forgetting marijuana, remember forgetting, uh, with new ideas. So, uh, why is that so important for the survival of mankind? Because for the first time, humanity has such a huge impact on the biosphere that if we're not careful, we can disrupt things and essentially cause human extinction. So that we have to be able to evaluate new data and make intelligent policies that are based on science, not faith. Science. <laughs> um, in addition, we're an aging population. We're getting older. And the endocannabinoid system protects us from all age-related illnesses. Um, so what we're really seeing is the need for more cannabinoids, both as individuals to promote our health as we grow older, but on a global scale, really, so that we have policies defined by people who are able to take in new information and make policies accordingly. We have to change the paradigms of the past for a novel paradigm of the future, one where information is utilized effectively in making policies and end the insanity of the governmental people who I believe are disproportionately representing blips, backward-looking people, and therefore do not have the ability to change. So what we're really looking at here is a genetic battle between blips and flips, the outcome of which may determine the very survival of humanity. We can't adapt fast enough evolutionarily. The only way we can promote these changes is by introducing more cannabinoid activity into the biochemical activity of humanity on the, bio, on the planet. Thank you.